that was a pretty good opening. Galahad, come in. Galahad, acknowledge this is command. I read you, Percival. Enjoying a stroll in the park, are we? Nothing quite like a chilly London morning to stimulate the senses. Not to interrupt your little constitutional, but we have confirmation of multiple marks at Grosvenor Square. What are our directives? Rendezvous at the United India House with Egraine and Lafayette and contain the threat. Do you have it in sight? Man, look at this city. Right in front of me. Good. Assess the situation once there and proceed with caution. Did Nicola provide you with armament? Yes. SXM2 Falchion. Good. The Falchion's secondary ordnance should help. We may be pursuing Bedlamites, but they remain civilians. Use non-lethal force whenever possible. Understood. Are you joining us? I have a small matter to attend to. I'll find you afterwards. En route now. Got that out. All right. Man, this game is gorgeous. Look at that toss building over there. What is that? How did they build that? I want to know what that is. I hope we go there. The walk. I'm assuming we're going this way. Look at that water. This is going to be another one of those games where I talk about the lighting because, god damn, it's already impressing me quite a bit. Oh my god, that shit is creepy. Oh my god. Fuck that shit. Fuck it. I wonder who that person is. I'm gonna take a look over here. Explore. You guys know I like to do that. I like to see the artfulness of video games, not just play them. What do we got over here? Mysterious disappearances in Whitechapel. My god, there's a lot of stuff you can read there. Already shows the amount of detail they put into this. Holy crap. I'm gonna have to read that while I'm editing. That painting. What we got here? Photo? Look over the photo. I wonder how long it took to make that photo. <laughs> You guys ever see uh, A Million Ways to Die in the West, how they're talking about how long it takes to make a picture and why no one smiles in a picture? I wonder if that applies here. Okay, the... What is it? The Windham family? 20th of July of the year 1886. That's pretty cool. Let's take a look at the other stuff in this room. Good day, sir. What's up, dude? Oh, that's a grate on the wall. Can I go behind him? Guess nothing else in this room. So far, the uh, the game is gorgeous, runs really smoothly, controls seem pretty solid and uh, responsive so far, so... I'm liking what I'm playing right now. Okay. 
Wax cylinders contain a recorded audio message. Press options to select archive to listen to this recording. All right. It befell in the days of Uther Pendragon, when he was king of all England, and so reigned that there was a mighty duke in Cornwall that held war against him long time. And the duke was called the Duke of Tintagil. And so by means, King Uther sent for this duke, charging him to bring his wife with him, for she was called a fair lady, and a passing wise, and her name was called Igraine. So when the duke and his wife were come unto the king, by the means of great lords they were accorded both. The king liked and loved this lady well, and he made them great cheer out of measure, and desired to have lain by her. But she was a passing good woman, and would not assent unto the king. And then she told the duke her husband, and said, I suppose that we were sent for that I should be dishonored. Wherefore, husband, I counsel you, that we depart from hence suddenly, that we may ride all night unto our own castle. Huh. That's pretty interesting. Really well done as far as audio recordings go. So far I can say the voice acting seems to be pretty damn good so far. I'm on my way down to the street. Acknowledge. It's kind of a weird room. I think I just kicked something. And in here, what the hell are these? Elephants? Are they just like decorations, or does have a purpose? To jump across. Alright. This dude seems to be, uh, I mean, I would guess at least in his late 30s, early 40s, maybe even older. I'm terrible at judging age, but it seems like he's pretty spry. Time to look for him. I'm assigning the last few constables to their posts. Alright, what do we got here? Charles Dickens, A Tale of Two Cities, The Golden Thread, The Luminous City, The Ring of the Nibelung? Or Nibelung? I don't know. The Rhine Gold. Huh. Oh, wait, I should have looked at the reverse side of that. Do you look at the triangle? Okay. Looks like, uh, nothing. Alright, saw a dude go in this door. Can't go in there, though. Alright. So far, it seems like this game doesn't have a very like, large color palette, but to be honest, I kind of expected that. It's not the worst, either. Man, look at all those, look at all that meat. Well, someone sounds sick. Not surprised. It is a very unhealthy time period. Galahad, see that you cordon off the entire district and do it quietly. What a bitch. How did you arrive here so quickly? Skill, love. I must admit, you do move fast for a man of your age. 
I'm not cursed to be reminded of his decrepitude by a fair damsel. My lord, this damsel would never be so callous as to do such a thing. Sure is he. Would you ever? <laughs> Who are the marks? Bedlamites running amok. Percival thinks it could be a rebel subterfuge. Let's hope you haven't lost your edge. Remember who trained you? He was the best. In his day. Was? You're still pretty good. But I'm better. Yes, ma'am. Big Rain, come in. Acknowledge, Percival. Multiple escapees spotted at the east entrance of the United India Underground Station. Intercept with caution. Understood. Come on, Gray. Let's move. All right. Didn't really want a partner, but okay, okay. She used the point of interest. Okay, she can do a little jog, but doesn't appear I can. Oh, now I can. I want to make sure I don't miss out on anything. I mean, look at this environment. It is gorgeous. I don't want to miss out. I don't want to miss out. There's still gonna be stuff I'm gonna miss, but Once whatever. We're inside, don't let anyone else through. Sure, you don't need help, love. Do you mean a strong man to take control of things? That's right. Just stay out of our way. I'd hate for you to get shot by mistake trouble the usual trigger happy mercenaries the United India Company prefers its minions enthusiastic the last thing we need is a band of hired guns causing more havoc I've told them to remain on lockdown What are they running from? Did they see something I didn't see? Why is there a couch up there? Galahad, take cover! Let's get to work. Alright. Secondary weapon. Pistol. Alright. Let's reload. This gun reminds me of the gun from uh, Bioshock Infinite. I like it. Honestly, I was expecting, like, the third-person... There are some games out there, especially third-person shooters, that have weird kind of floaty controls. This feels on point. Like, feels awesome. Actually, I don't want their weapon. I want mine. Get out of here! Find some weapons! You too! Get your asses over here! I need help! Come on, go! Let's go, you bloody bastards! A rifle would right. be more appropriate. Oh man. Down. I like the hit markers too. Coming from the alley. Within the past uh, couple years, they've been adding more games with hit markers in the single player. I like that. What's it saying to press R1 for? Oh, like an airburst type thing? Escaping That's interesting. Neutralized. 
I just want to look around at the same time. Oh, poor horsey. Alright. God, the controls are awesome. Really good controls. Enemy down. There was like a blur effect too, which is actually kind of cool. Oh, ammo. Wonder if there's like a melee mechanic. I would assume. I would imagine maybe not. Oh, come on, I could have shot him. They've locked the door. I can hear more commotion inside. Whoa. Hurry. More bedlamites inside. Oh, I guess he was shooting through the door. I thought we were getting shot from behind. Take the shot. Oh. I guess that would kind of replace a melee mechanic. Are you alright? Damn it! Oh god. They're slaughtering them. Ready? Just get rid of this scum. Smoke grenades. Right. Smoke grenades, alright. Smoke grenades. And, uh, press on hold L2 to aim, R2 to throw. Smoke out! Alright, let's go! Escapee neutralized. Alright, you bastards. Ow. Is that all? Move in. This place is nice. In the bar. Oh, oh shit. Target down. I saw a guy jump in there. Oh, ammo. Fuck yeah. Give me that. Oh, that's her. I about to say, who the... Escapee neutralized. Shoot him in the dick. There were more on the level above. We need to get up there. Got it! All right. Man, this, the game just plays so smoothly. It really does. And she got shot, and she's been moving like a champ. We should clear the what did she floor. drink? Everything to your liking thus far? Quiet. Just another ordinary London morning. Indeed. Although I do hope that was only the beginning. Ladies first. Quiet. <laughs> you 
think we'll get to shoot a few of them rich folk. Huh? Say no more. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, damn. She fucked him up. Oh. Oh. I'm telling you guys, I felt the pain in that. Like, the way they presented that just made it seem like it hurt. Room clear. Man, this place looks nice, too. Let's do a little more pistol action. Oh, through here? That was weird. I was kind of expecting like the one we did earlier, but that one involved shooting. That was kind of weird. Oh, you can do it whenever you want. You just gotta press L1. I kind of like it because it doesn't it gives you a chance but it doesn't make things too easy which is kind of nice you too sir downstairs there are civilians who need your assistance yes sir sir general Raphael is in the next room you're joking Is there a single woman in this city he won't try to seduce? Well, he's your problem now. Do you try not to lag behind? Lafayette. Ah, monsieur. Uh, this lady requires my attention. Marquis. Your attention is required elsewhere. I assure you, mademoiselle, that only the vow of fidelity prevents me from accepting your invitation. Well, Marquis, you mustn't leave now. Unfortunately, my lady, my duty compels me elsewhere. Most fetching, was she not? I hadn't noticed. That is because you are not a Frenchman. You are the most American Frenchman I have ever known. I am a lover of liberty, mon ami. A proper knight must learn to curb his passions. Without passion, monsieur, a man cannot fight. We do not fight men, Marquis. Men, half-breeds, what does it matter? Vive la liberté! Let's go. About time. Marquis, you and Lady Grain take that entrance. I'll go through this one and sweep for any remaining escapees. We miss you. Sir. All right. On my own. Air command to all knights in the vicinity of Mesa. The Metropolitan Police has finished cordoning off the affected areas. 
Sentinels are continuing their overhead sweep. We will alert you to any sightings of the escape station. Acknowledge. All right, so far I am uh, really enjoying what I'm playing. What is in here? Ah. All right. Now I wonder what's with this pathway. The hell? Galahad, are you making any headway? I'm in the generator room. Lafayette and I have decided to split our search. Women, mother, but I have not met any resistance yet. Huh. I really like this time period. Oh, so there's some parkour climbing elements here, huh? Alright. There we go. I stayed pretty in the dark about this game. I had a feeling I'd beat you here. Remember, youth always prevails. Youth always prevails. Oh, she's about to get a lesson, I'll tell you what. Oh shit. My boot is blocked. It may take me some time to reach him. Here we go. Finish him off. Oh. Oh fucker. No, you don't. Come here. One second. Let's get rid of this one. There are quite a few of them around here. Most of them, the last one got away. Hey, Grain, I need your up gun. I'll head up to street level and keep after him. You two go that way and head him off. Understood. Oh, okay. It goes to, like, metal objects? I guess I can't do it on that. Man, this thing can move if he went down the path I my allies ended up coming down. Alright, you bastard. We need to press forward. I'm coming for you.
Everyone all right? Yes. Percival, we've neutralized the threat on our side. Good. I managed to capture one of the half-breeds. Rendezvous back at Regent. Acknowledge. Let's go. Westminster to the catacombs. We'll deal with him later. Ah, Sir Percival. I thought the order of Her Majesty's Royal Knights might be mixed up in this affray. We had reason to suspect a rebel incursion, Commissioner. An elementary conjecture. In that event, perhaps this might be of interest. Why, Chuck? Well, purely circumstantial, of course. I call it evidence. Well, circumstantial evidence can be a tricky animal, my dear Sir Percival. You may think it is pointing at one thing, but shift your point of view slightly, and you may find it pointing in an equally uncompromising manner at something entirely different. Please, indulge me with your musings, Commissioner. Well, first the rebellion, and then this Jack, and the Ripper murders, mm -hmm. and then this. Strange, don't you think, that Whitechapel has become the epicenter of our recent conundrums? We must examine every clue now, you see? We meet in council two days hence. If you would do us the honor of presenting your findings. You can expect me at Westminster. Over here, sir. Do excuse me. Where have you been? Bloody London traffic. Mon général, what of the other half-breeds that escaped through Hyde Park? We must pursue them. No. Mais notre devoir est de les poursuivre, monsieur. Marquis. Nous ne chassons pas des Anglais sur le nouveau continent. Votre témérité sera requis à un moment opportun. Oui, mon général. I will be governed Sir by Percival. your advice. I'm sure you will appreciate that for the time being, this must remain a police matter. Of course. Something's amiss. The underworld in Whitechapel is known to give safe harbor to the rebellion. It's precisely what troubles me. Why would so many half-breeds be found in Bedlam? Some things we need to find out for ourselves. You heard, Commissioner Doyle. It's a police investigation now. Knights do not relinquish their authority to bureaucrats. Percival is right. This matter should be brought before the Council. Centuries have passed. But our order has remained steadfast in its sacred mission to preserve the balance between man and half-breed. Such was the quest of our founder, King Arthur. May his name be forever resplendent. Is it true? Did the Lord Chancellor fight by Arthur's side? That is the legend. Today, that balance is threatened with grave upset by a new contagion, the rebellion. As long as its campaign of anarchy and terror is allowed to continue. The plague of lichen infestation that has infected our city will only grow more intolerable. Well, the Lord Chancellor will thus agree to the urgency of a mission into Whitechapel. Whitechapel is a matter for the civil authorities. When the noble Arthur sought to contest for truage with the Roman Emperor Lucius, he did not trouble himself with issues of jurisdiction. Do not presume to quote history to me, Sir Percival. I've seen more of history than you shall ever know. I remind the knights here assembled that the threat to this order comes not only from without, but within. We must stand vigilant together, lest our ranks be poisoned by those who seek the destruction of all we hold sacred. No one is immune from the rebels' influence. Surely the Lord Chancellor does not mean to question Sir Percival's loyalty. This order has long appreciated Sir Percival's counsel. But the current disruption calls for caution and concerted effort, not rash action. Sir Percival has cause, Lord Chancellor. The situation in Whitechapel may need to be addressed. Does Lord Darwin speak with the blessing of the peers?
Lord Hastings, Lord Dunglass. He does, Lord Chancellor. Perhaps the question should be put to the Council. Very well. What says the Order of Her Majesty's Royal Knights in the matter of Whitechapel? Aye or nay? Nay. nay. The nays have it. This council is dismissed. Our order grows too prudent, Grayson. We wither away from this inaction. Leave it, Sebastian. Caution be damned. Sir Percival is most agitated. You should learn it is best not to cross him when his mind is set on something. What do you make of this? Percival seems to All right. Well, I can tell you guys, the Order 1886 is off to a fantastic start. I'm loving what I'm playing so far. That is a big-ass chandelier hanging really low off the ceiling. But, anyway, thank you all for watching this first session of the Order 1886. I'm going to be pumping this game out as fast as I possibly can while trying to do some new things to keep the videos entertaining. So thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for the love and support you've given this year in 2015. I cannot thank you all enough. You all are super, super, super supportive. I love you all, and I will see you all next time. I am out.